Good afternoon or evening or morning, depending on your time zone. Uh, today, I will explain you how you can uh, use your data more efficiently. Do you have a Google account, right? I will start with this foundation. And we will use the Google Sheets and Neo4j and connect them. The reason for this talk is to teach you on one technique for connecting the table to the Neophagy graph database and discover some invisible patterns in your data. So let's begin. This is our plan. And you see on the left side the table data and on the right side the graph view. Here's the link to the data. Let's open it and see what's inside. good data but what you can say about it you see the data it exists but can you start talking about it why a phrase the answer is simple when we talk we using nouns verbs adjectives we think using objects already but there is no verbs in table data so let's build these words and connect the data as bridges you can see on this picture let's visualize what we think we will build the data model in other words we will create their schema of our data we connect the bridges to have rods then we can drive safely on our data highway the college has a scope the teachers a direction for example id information technology the direction teachers level the course number, for example, 300. At the same time, Direction has a course that can depend on each other as well. And the course has a number. We need courses to get a degree, right? Bachelor, master, or doctor degree. At the same time, the course available in some semester, spring or fall, nice. So we have our logic ready. And we can fill it now with data. Next, we connect the table with a graph. But before I do that, both should see each other first and then they can exchange information. So here you can see the settings for the Google Sheet. You see it's easy we need just share the file make sure uh it has a type of csv you publish it and you copy the link that's it it's very simple now let's go back to the neo4j settings here are settings for neo4j aura you see it's a little bit more steps but it's doable within a few minutes first we agreed that you have a google account right so you can do it we log in create a new instance select empty copy password click on query the data insert your password here and that's it you connect it you can now start to speak with your data. Now we will go back to the code, but don't worry, it's really easy. This cipher is very intuitive programming language. I will open the code and now it's time to dialogue uh, between uh, your data and the Neo4j. Here I just copied the URL link for the tab data. 
and another tab I have unique uh, data and my password. Um, each tab in Google Sheet has their own ID number, so you see it's different number. And here will be our first code. If you have something in database, uh, you can remove it and match everything that you have that touch if it is connected and then delete it. So we create our first node, use word create, and that add logic. I create my college, uh, College Business Innovation Leadership and Technology. The abbreviation is build. So I will copy uh, this code and run it. I don't have anything in database, so it's empty. Great, the first node is ready. Let's add more nodes. Uh, use the word Lord CSV with pads from. Next, you insert the data link from CSV file. And say you will uh, read this line by line. Next, uh, you see in the column that the data uh, values duplicates. To ensure we have only one node or summer, fall, or spring, we use the command merge to create semesters. And it will create a node if it does not exist and don't create if it is exist. The word next to the line represents the name of your Google Sheet head of table. Let's look on the code together. The same technique I use for the other column, school. And I will copy and run it so we can see it in real. Great. So we have three schools, uh, business, technician, and uh, design and uh, art. Let's go back to the code and add more nodes. If you assess that another tab in Google Sheet, for example, I have another tab, unique data, and I created uh, the column from uh, using the command unique uh, for the direction. Uh, we have only uh, 19 uh, different directions. So first it's head, so it will be 19. And you can set a limit uh, for your cipher code. For example, here we look line by line. Yes, but then we'll limit it to look only on 19 rows. The same we create the direction and have it in our database. So I will run it. Good. Uh, we have some nodes in the data. And now it's time to build a relationship between nodes. So when we create relationships, we load our CSV line by line, we match college, we match school, because it already exists, direction we just created. Next, we merge college has a school because we designed our schema that way. Next, school teaches a direction, that's it. Let's run it. Great. Let's go back to our slides. 
So uh, now we can see that their school of design has four directions and the same as school of technology, also four. But the school of business has in two times more. Would you get this in a table view? Why we just have the data? It's hard to see how many directions you would have for, for the school. Let's continue our discovery. We loaded courses and now see that information technology, IT, has in three times more courses than any other direction. MBA, marketing, has the same 14 courses. Very nice. Next, let's review how our courses can depend on each other. When we add connections between courses, we can start to see some clusters of the courses and we can get the path to our desired course. Publication design depends on typography, but also depends on the digital publishing. We have about 40% of courses that depends on each other. That means 60% of the course are running independently. With new Fuji graph technology, we can find a path between nodes. For example, here I run the code to get five, seven of connected courses between each other. We can see that the data in cloud depends on cloud computing. At the same time, cloud security depends on cloud computing. And cloud security depends on cybersecurity attack. Cybersecurity risk depends on the basic principles of cybersecurity. This is very interesting and true. Would you get all this information just from table? It would be hard without connections. Let's move on. When you have a lot of nodes and relationships, use the Neo4j Bloom to visualize the data. Here are a few steps with settings. So you open the Explorer, then you copy and paste the password, and then you type your logic, what you're interested in. That's it. It's really easy. Here I investigated degree and courses, since we need the courses to get some degree, right? And we can see that the bachelor degree courses in two times more than the master degree. At the same time, the doctoral degree less than master in two times. Let's explore our last object, semester. We teach three semesters, spring, fall, and summer. It's efficient to use time properly, but we see from data that the fall semester has less loading than the spring. We need to balance. Some courses we can see are teachers in both semesters and available in both semesters. The time is expired for this talk and if you have any questions send him out to me uh, and here is my LinkedIn profile if you're interested in my content uh, you can follow it I hope you learned something new today and you can practice with your data and make discoveries uh, remember to add verbs and connect your data points to make a data-driven decisions uh, thank you so much for attending and listening.